Pokemon Sword is rated E for Everyone by the ESRB. The next evening. That's it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my... Jeez, what a strange sentence. Butterfree is used singly, but it sounds like it's supposed to be multiple. But I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Derez, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Inteleon, I'll be happy to give you one. <laughs> no, wait, please. I'm not like those other League staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Elena can be a little extreme in her desires to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for... Well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about s today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her yeah, then, yeah, Drez? Let's go. I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to Winden Stadium? Sure. Then let's be on our way. And hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword Blind. In the last episode we had just gone up Rose Tower and we overheard a very serious conversation between Leon and the Chairman. And in this episode, we have our championship battle with, uh, Hop. Not with Hop, with Leon, but Hop is just, uh, all these cutscenes. This is it. Here at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. Go get yourself checked in. And so we will. Okay, let's go right up to the door. Challenger Derez, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room now? Wait, that, I mean it kind of makes sense, but where are my Elite Fours? Are the Gym Leaders the Elite Four? In which case, why are they Gym Leaders if they're the Elite Four? It's the om opening ceremony for the finals. When you're ready, please head to the pitch. Will you be heading to the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. Then in you go. Where are my Elite Four members? Where's my Where's my Electric Elite Four? I'm so confused. There's the champion. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galler. I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one, in order to lead you all in great heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galler region. The time has come for you to battle it out until the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the finals matches begin. Wait, you. Ah, uh, who's that? It's Beatty. A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? 
I am Beatty, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Beatty, he's the challenger endorsed by the Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with Challenger Derez here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events. Former challenger Beatty has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with challenger Beatty. To all our viewers both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something, do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. I was, it was Elena who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day? And here I am, pouring my heart out to you, when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted BD's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Derez? My will hasn't been broken yet. Do I not get a say in this? Because I would say no. BD has not earned a battle with me. Gym leader. He's a gym leader? I guess I should not be surprised. Technically, Opal took him under his wing. We face too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. I wonder if Opal had something to do with this as well. I'm sure she was talking to Leon in the background being all... Yes, BD is a gym leader. He deserves to be in this battlefield. Also, I retired. It would not surprise me one bit if that's what Opal did. Gardevoir, Psychic, and Fairy. So, I want someone with a Dark type. Do I not have Dark? Oh, I do. It's with my Bug Guy still. Okay. Actually, I think I still have multiple moves. I think... Oh. Oh, right. The fairy typing will level out the effectiveness. Okay. Well, let's go with Crunch. Calm Mind. Special Attack and Defense. Okay, well, my moves will be unaffected, so let's go with the lunge this time for stab. Perfect. Down she goes. So that's two victories. Rapidash. I think this is another psychic fairy. It is based on the unicorn, after all. So let's go with the lunge. And I made a good call, because that psychic attack is a physical psychic. Let's go with lunge again. I'm just super type covered with bacon like my lead Pokemon. Hatterene. Let's switch. I know poison is not gonna work. Let's pull out my own Hatterene. Because I have the advantage with a ghost attack, I believe. Yeah. 
<laughs> What's with that calm expression? Think you're going to win? I think I am gonna win, actually, uh, BD. Because unlike you, who didn't cause my Hatterene to shudder, your Hatterene did. Which revealed to me the ultimate move. Ghost type is the best. We'll show you a truly great pink. It's time for my dear Tatarine to Gigantamax. And it opens to... A scary version of Hatterene. That did not kill. Max, Max Flare. Why do you have a fire move? Even I don't have a fire move. Well, you're gonna be attacked by Max Phantasm again anyway, so... I'm curious what his plan was with the whole... Let's do Starfall next. Kaboom! And there we go. Our first battle was completed. Now who's next? Defeated gym leader Beatty. I'm still confused by that. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Wait, so you weren't actually after my position? Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Beatty was no match for Challenger Derez and his trusted team. Hey Beatty, that was some match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But, but this wasn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on the, these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Derez, please head back to the locker room so you can rest up for that un, from that unexpected match. Rather surprising for Challenger Beatty to barge in like that. I believe his title was Gym Leader. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. I would love to. Okay, yes, I would love to. Next round. Here we go. The time is the time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are a trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Derez. His opponent is the Raging Waves, the master of the water types, Nessa. I feel unprepared. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Hullberry Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. 
He's got a proper eye for talent too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to beat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. Well, she might get an advantage because of my first Pokemon being... Sizzle, uh, Center Scorch. Hi, Nessa. Galissopod. What a stroke of luck fighting a water bug type. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Okay, let's go with... 80-80. Let's go with Flamethrower, because it is my strongest move. And because of your bug typing, and this will just make you flee. Giving me a free attack on you. Barrascuta. This, unfortunately, may be a problem. Let's see what I can do with you. Uh, lower attack, lower defense. Let's go with Crunch. That is if I don't die in the first hit. Okay. Unfortunately, I feel she's going to get a really good hit with that. So let's go to Flapple and drop an apple on his head. Okay, hang in there. You're going to use your water move, which won't be as effective because I'm, a, I'm both a water and a grass type. But that being said, she, she might have Ice Fang, just what I thought. Shoot. Okay, well, it's over for her here. Okay, what is next? Seeking. Uh, let's pull out. Seeking is just a grass type, so let's pull out Toxtricity. Show her just how far that Toxel came from that first matchup with her. She's bent out Seeking. Okay. Let's take you down. Overdrive. Perfect. Ooh, this is getting tense. Galissopod. Let's switch. And let's bring back out Groot. Even though Galissopod is a bug type, he is weakened by his attack stats because of his burn. He's half health. And I think I just have the advantage with Groot. She's definitely not bringing out her last Pokemon on purpose. So we'll just make her bring him out. First impression. The great move for a bug type. There we go. Okay, let's see what's next. Pelipper. Let's switch. Let's bring back out Toxtricity. Also, was this not her last Pokemon? Ooh, now would have been a perfect time to have had Thunder. And yeah, I actually did miscount her team. She has one more after this. Okay. Dreadnaw. Yes, we will switch back to Groot. 
I'm sure this game would be a lot harder if I didn't have the switch in between Pokemon active. Looks like when I'm down to one last Pokemon, I've been saving the best for last. A Dreadnought again. Well, we already know how effective her Dreadnought was last time. Bring out Grookey. Not Grookey. Groot the Rillaboom. Flood the stadium, make it our ocean. Dreadnought, it's time to Gigantamax. Uh, the last time we saw your Dreadnought, he can only Dynamax? What? Okay, now I want a Dyn Gigantamax Dreadnought. Look how fierce this thing looks. Too bad you're a Water Rock type, so you're going to be extra effective against my uh, Grass move. And we just finished the battle. Dreadnought fainted. Okay. I had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder you won. Oh, you had no problem. I'm glad I got to fight Nessa again. And the winner is Durez. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamaxed partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I'd paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Galar has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. The results of the first round. Uh, wait. I have paid attention. Who's next? Who am I dealing with? I was not paying attention. Maybe it's Pierce? I should have paid more attention. I feel... I feel defeated. No. Uh, let's switch my team. Bacon has had the spotlight for long enough. Let's bring out Groot. Hopefully this is not a mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left in the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise in, during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup as the former gym challenger BD stormed the stage, but Derez was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have the Galar Karate Prodigy. Let's hear it for gym leader B, everyone. I promise you my attacks will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. Okay. So we're fighting B. And she sent out Kalucha. I feel this is very counterproductive to my own team. You might have won one on me, but this is where I show you what I can really do when I'm serious. Okay, so it's a flying type, so... Ooh, everything about Groot is ineffective. So let's jump to Toxtricity.
flying press. Ineffective. And now we're just gonna destroy you. With overdrive. Goodbye. Okay. What is up next? Grap locked. Yes, we are gonna switch. Let's bring out Hatterene. Come on back. Okay. Scrap lock. Okay, let's go with... Uh, technically, I think Psychic is stronger, so I chose the wrong move. But it's okay, we won. Okay, who's next? Sir Fetched. Is just a fighting type. I mean, it can learn steel moves, so I may be at a disadvantage. But if I use Psychic first... Oh, Leaf Blade. What an odd choice for an attack. Maybe she was trying to count on a critical hit. I know that's why I liked Sir Fetch and why I used him when I was collecting Pokemon. A couple of weeks ago. Phalanx. Uh, pure fighting type again. We're gonna use Psychic again. Bulk up. Okay. I feel like she really went heavy on the fighting types. Machamp. No, we're gonna keep going. It's time to dig our heels in. I'm not giving up and neither should you. Okay. Let's go with Mindstorm. Ah, uh, fine then. I'll just destroy everything. It's time for a Gigantamax battle. She is not happy that I'm winning. So, my Elite Four are Gym Leaders. Water, Fighting... I wonder if it's random. That would be actually really cool if I was getting randomly chosen Elite Four members to fight. go, how to read. Max Flare. What's with these Pokemon and using fire type attacks on my Hatterene? I think that defeated it. I guess we're about to find out. Yes, we did. And down goes Machamp. And there we go. Now, I'm not going to skip through the chart thing that's going to give me. Because in the next episode, we're going to have to deal with it. And the champion. Your strength nearly made me want to run and... Turn and run in my bare feet. So are you super mad that I just beat you? B has been defeated. Challenger Derez has shown his skill. Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfi satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say that it was the best sort of match anyone could have hoped for. I hope that you'll meet 
many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time, so stay in those seats, folks. Rayhan. Well, of course, Rayhan is going to beat Milo. And it looks like he fought with Piers afterwards. And, yeah, B was... Huh, someone's missing here. Milo. Opal. Opal was missing. And I think it's because her gym is currently under new management. Whoa, contender Rayhan gloriously defeated contender Piers. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Derez. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Rayhan. You look so sloppy out there that people are going to think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Rayhan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle... How amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it. But that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Derez. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wagon. Just before the final match, Rayhan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. Okay, guys. So we did three battles back to back in the stadium format. I know these episodes are going to be quite short for the next couple of weeks. But that's because we are in the end game. And the next episode, we're going to be fighting Rayhan and Leon. And I'm excited because we get to finish off the Champion Cup, which I think replaces the Elite Four. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not for more Pokemon Sword Blind content. I'll see you guys then.